I think Paul Rudd has that everyday man feel to him. And then there's, of course, the, the themes that run through the film of father-daughter issues that are really prevalent in the storytelling. And I just don't know if there's anyone in the world who could say I'm completely above father-daughter issues. I mean, there's just always stuff to be mined there because the relationship between a parent and a child is so complex. And so I think that there's a lot of wonderful, relatable material there with, with those storylines. Corey's character is, is created a lot of room for um, dimension in all of the different relationships because, of course, um, Michael Douglas is playing my father and that's a very cut and dry relationship. It's messed up. We have a very difficult relationship. Um, my relationship, or Hope's relationship with Scott Lang, is that you know there's there's animosity there also. She doesn't dig him. She thinks he's useless and wishes he wasn't around. That's very cut and dry. Um, but then Corey's character comes into the fore, and um, Darren Cross is a complicated man with complicated emotional issues who is being essentially. Uh, double-crossed by my character, but my character has known him and cared for him for so many years that the question always remains, but is it is she double-crossing him or is she actually on his side or does she really care about him? And what is that relationship with him and Hank, with Darren and Hank? Is there any kind of fatherly love towards Darren or is it just this, you know, stupid kid took my company and he's screwing around with my science? and. Um, so it, it adds a lot of dimension and a lot of color and of course Corey is such a consummate and incredible actor that he manages to bring all of those layers to every performance that he gives. She thinks that Hank's wasting his time with him and she actually thinks that he's detrimental to their mission. Um, I think Hope is, is pretty convinced that there's nobody who would be better to complete this mission in the suit than her in the Ant-Man suit. Um, and we had all these jokes that, you know, Paul, Paul would try and slip into the script here and there of things like, yeah, but it's Ant-Man and you're a woman, it doesn't work. And, you know, we would, we would joke around about how she couldn't be Ant-Man, but in Hope's mind, she totally could have been Ant-Man and she would have really liked to have been Ant-Man and then Scott got in the way. Darren and I have a particularly complex relationship. They were the hardest scenes to play because I was playing so many layers of, um, he's sort of going off the deep end. He's losing his mind a little bit. And this man that she's known and um, is essentially admired for many years because he's so intelligent and, and um, good at his job, suddenly is becoming a crazy person. And she's trying to not show him that she thinks he's lost his mind and that he's going crazy and that she's lost faith in him. So she's always keeping a good, brave face. Well, she's an island unto herself. She has her own sense of right and wrong, her own sense of justice, and she wants justice to be served and she wants, um, essentially, she doesn't want to see the earth implode or human, um, you know, human, society fall into chaos um, and she realizes that, that they're that she, they have lit, she has literally helped Darren Cross bring the world to the brink of that um, and so she has to she feels her only act of reason you know her only um, only thing that she can do is to go to her father and to ask for his help um, but she does it very much begrudgingly and against her will and she just wishes she didn't have to be working with her father um, she certainly wishes she wasn't working with Scott and I think in a way in a weird way her allegiance through a lot of the film is with Darren Cross but she just feels she has to do what's right regardless I think that what people are going to be the most excited about is the, the ant stuff. And I think what people will take from it is a new respect, understanding, and adoration for ants. Um, and I think that, I think, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they'll be clamoring for another Ant-Man movie. Hey, Lisa here with more on the Avengers. To help hide Scarlett Johansson's pregnancy during filming, three stunt doubles were hired. This caused a lot of confusion among other actors since, according to them, all the stunt women looked very similar to Johansson. Chris Evans stated that it got to one point where he would say hello and start a conversation with one of them, only to realize midway through the person he was talking to, 
Watson Johansson. That's all I've got for you today. Subscribe to keep up to date.